Now let's check in with our campaign correspondents. First, our Kim do Yeon was with the Lee Jae Byung campaign uh, with the ruling Democratic Party's uh, nominee. Now, uh, To Yeon, what are you hearing from inside the Lee Jae Byung campaign at this hour? Good evening, Gon Young. I'm out here at the campaign headquarters of the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, where the campaign members are watching the vote count unfold. Now, it might be a bit too early to make any assumptions, but it is true that ever since the polling closed and the exit poll results came out, the campaign has been on the more enthusiastic side, uh, despite the trailing by a slim margin. And that's because the results were what they had been expecting, unlike the main opposition People Power Party, which had expected a larger margin. A campaign official said that with the early votes accounting for almost half of all votes and COVID-19 patients and overseas voters also not taken into account in early exit polls, results can certainly be different. In addition, Lee Jae-myung is leading in terms of votes cast by people in their 20s and has been helped by the majority of women voters choosing him. Now, those were the results from the three main broadcasters of the country, but on a separate exit poll done by another channel, JTBC, the results actually had E beating Yoon by a slim margin. As for the candidate himself, Lee Jae-myung is currently at home, but he's expected to join his colleagues here when the results start to get clear. Kwon Young.